the new gel polish. And I really like the brush because look, it's nice and thin. It's still thin. A lot, of, a lot of the brushes you see out right now are actually a little bit thicker than this. So I actually, I know this because I didn't purchase this. I didn't produce this when it first came out. So that's one of the reasons why I waited because I want to see what issues have with it. Then I'm going to, so I'm just going to draw lines. This is a little bit like a gel polish and it cures about 60 seconds, UV LED preferred. Um, let's draw French. Deep French. So these are used for swirls and if you wanna do French or something like that, if you don't really need that, like, you know, to be uh, precise, like an art gel. I'll show you what difference between this gel and art gel is later. A lot of people are confused. So this brush, this product allows you to be able to paint in. It's very, it's very pigmented. You can see, I don't really use that much. But it's still a gel polish. It's not a uh, art gel, okay? So it will cure tacky. Tacky means that it will, it will be sticky. Um, that actually is really good for a lot of people that use uh, pigment. They can use the white and rub pigment on it. A lot of artists, a lot of art gel that are for detail work. They're more for, um, they're more for, how should I say it, for people that they, they dry non-tacky, smooth. This would dry tacky and it dries about 60 seconds in a UV LED. You have to have UV LED. A lot of people are having issues with curing problems with this product. And I knew what was wrong with it because maybe your machine is not UV LED. Um, so yeah, you can use this however you want. I made a mistake by going all the way up here, but I'm just showing you guys the pigment, okay? Let me show it. Cheers. It's actually a lot of vibrant colors. Ooh, got to turn on my gel machine here. So make sure you have a UV LED gel machine, guys. It's very important. A lot of guys have issues with curing. Um, UV LED. A lot of the machines are UV only. And let's see some of these other colors. Let's see the nude. You know how we like when you do nudes, nudes, nudes. This is a light nude. I'm gonna use a dark nude and a brown to do the swirls. Everybody loves swirls. First, I'm actually, I want to matte this real quick. So I'm gonna use my matte top coat. This matte top coat is actually money back guaranteed. Anybody use it? All my students have it, they love it. I'm gonna give myself a nice rubbery surface so I can do this. So it dries fairly quick, 60 seconds. It's tacky, so that when I touch it, it's sticky. This is a tacky dry, so that, you know, this is a gel polish, not a gel art paint. I'll show you the difference, okay? This is gel art paint. This is for detail work, okay? I have to show you the difference, because when I say it, you guys won't believe me, but I'll show you the difference. A lot of my students have these, so they, they know what I'm talking about, but for a lot of you guys that are new to gel art paint, this is for detail work, mainly. Look at that mat. It's a nice rubby surface for. And let me take my detail one, detail two out. Detail two. I'm just gonna get some of this. It's very pigmented. I'm just gonna put it on and show you guys the difference. You guys see that? This is gel art paint. It's not as thick, but it's very pigmented. Look at that. See how lovely this brush is? If you guys were to get in the corners, you want to get like a nice corner, a nice crisp corner. But I'm going to apply this and I'm going to show you guys the difference between how it dries. Because, you know, as always, I always want to educate you guys on the product. When I dry this, this is going to dry nice and, and uh, smooth. It's not going to dry, um, it's not going to dry tacky. I love this brush. This brush is going to be used for a lot of stuff. Okay, while we're doing that, let's get that brown out. Get some swirls. You don't want to paint this too thick, okay? Because it's, thick, it's, gel, it's gel polish. If you do it too thick, it's just like other polish. You know, if you do it too thick, guess what? It's not going to cure. So 
Maybe some thick spots here. Some... Like any squirrel, you have big spots. So for those of you guys that are, you know, have to run and get a bunch of brown, brown polishes, guess what? To do this, you don't have to do that anymore. I have brown, light nude, and dark nude. So I'm gonna cure this real quick before I put my second one in. So I don't want the lines to blend together. Now look at this. This right here is smooth. This right here is tacky. You hear that? This dries smooth. You don't have to top coat this. That's the difference between art gel and gel polish. Some paper towel. All right. So now we have our dark color. Let's do a dark nude, medium nude. Do it on the inside. Squirrel designs are quite simple, as long as you have the right product. I don't want to get too thick, so I'm going to drag some of that out. There we go. I'm going to cure this. I'll show you guys some of the vibrant colors, too. You don't ever clean this. Uh, these brushes, you don't clean it. You see how I put it back in there? I left the gel on there. When I want to use it again, I just use paper towel and I'll just clean it. You see how pigment that is? And then when I clean this in acetone, I'll, I know that I'm going to be using it again. So it keeps the bristles together. If you want to, if you're cleaning it and storing it, what happens is it's going to be dry in there. So you want to leave whatever excess on there, just wipe with paper towel. It keeps it together, okay? Remember, don't ever clean it. Hello, my mat. Thank you. My mat top coat is the bomb. So now I have a light nude. Like this set, you have all the nudes you need for those, for that design that everybody wants. Look at this beautiful light nude. I'm just gonna do a very thick here. Use too much. Remember, this is like gel polish. You want to do thin coats, okay? Because it is very pigmented. It's pig. You see, this light nude is actually pigmented to cover up his brown. I'm like sitting in a weird position, so just like that. This over like a nice nude. Let's see some of these vibrant colors. I mean, like neon colors. Um, I recommend. Tapping it up a little bit real first before you use it. This is a green. Very pigmented. Show, like they use gel art paint it's not so you do too thick yes of course it's gonna be it won't cure no bubble up no peel it's gonna make sure you're doing nice and clean UV LED now I'm gonna hit it up with another matte top coat you do this matte or you can do it you know shiny however you prefer but I like matte when it comes to like nudes and the squirrels you know shiny looks good too but I like matte 
After these demos, I'm gonna do actually stone demos, some stone placement for you guys. Yeah, so the first 20 is 20% off, I don't know who it is, but like I said, I'm not mentioning it. There you go. Let's say you want a top coat. Guess what? I also have a money back guarantee top coat. If you use this top coat and you want to ship it back, pay shipping, I'll take it back and I'll use it myself. But this top coat is the truth. Only my students will know. One thin coat. It'll shine like you won't believe it. The reason I like this, my top coat is, just watch guys. It doesn't run. I hate top coat that runs. It's a medium consistency. The reason why I hate top coat that's too thin is because that when I'm painting and the client's leaning their hands, guess what? All the top coat goes in the one corner, I lose my shape. I get very frustrated. I really want to see this light neon green here. Oh, vibrant. Oh. So this, when this happens, you can either replace it or warm water will, will fix it, okay? This happens sometimes when they're in the bottle or heat. I actually use this earlier, I don't know why it happens so fast, but I guess I have it in front of the machine. It's Kira. Warm water, or you can just replace it with a replacement brush. And they have they sell replacement brush for really, really cheap. I think I'm gonna ask the company for like a crap ton, and I'm gonna actually try to get them to add like maybe 10 replacement brush in there. But warm water will bring the brush back. But this neon though. sides and it's you see a thickness to it then you've done too much okay make sure you just do one nice coat and this is the sh this is the shiny version see that very thin this is the stiletto tip it covers it and this last non-yellow I don't have to say non-yellow on my top coat I think all top coats should be non-yellowing I don't think that if there's a top coat that's yellowing they should fix that Thank you, Mr. So, should we just throw the yellow in here? The yellow should be vibrant too. Gotta be careful using this in front of the UV machine. What I like about this is that even though they're very pigmented colors, each color will to cover the next. See that? This is too much polish. There's a dab there, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep stretching it out. Very big mistake. That's why a lot of you guys buying this. If you're using it too thick, yes, it's gonna have some issues curing, okay? Please listen to me when I say that. Especially if you, a lot of you guys that have it right now, you have this issue, okay? So I'm gonna do a few more colors to show you these um, greens and pinks and hot down here. And then I'm gonna move on to stone placement. We're gonna see the stones. First, it's been a long time since I see you guys live. Cheers. Can't go without my, my wine. You guys, you guys wanna see me draw some Frenches, maybe? Some French? No, all my stuff is non wipe. You can see? It dries. Um, matte. I like matte. My matte top was the same as this. It's one thin coat. A lot of people go a little bit too trigger happy with the matte top coat and the top coat. It's too thick and you lose your shape. We don't want that. So let's do some with these blues. Let's do French. Uh, French by French. Okay, let's do. 
light to dark. How about that light to dark? Okay. Do French. Oh my god, look at that. Beautiful. look great on nudes. Nude set. So yes, this is the reason why they can't do this with, uh, they have to do this with gel polish and not gel art paint is because gel art paint is so thick that if they put it in a bottle like that, it won't be able to stretch. Here, I'll show you guys what happens if you do it too thick. When you see that, that means I did it too thick early with the yellow, see that? It won't cure all the way through, just like gel polish. You gotta be careful, make sure it's thinner. See that, it's a little bit thicker, it raised up. So yes, I will show you guys what is, happens when this happens too. So when you run this issue, it may not be the product. You just gotta change your technique a little bit and thin it out. You see how that yellow raised up a little bit there? Cause it was way too thick when I painted it and I didn't stretch it out cause I wanted to get done with it. So that's why that happens. So make sure that when you're painting, you're gonna in the same situation, okay? So now I'm gonna use this, this is what's a Macron blue, and I'm gonna use this Tiffany blue next. Oh wow, never mind. The other earlier was like a mint green. This is this is the sky blue. Look at that. I'm just gonna move that green a little bit, just give myself a little bit of an edge. I purposely did that green a little bit thicker, the first one, because I know that this is gonna go over. So I'm gonna stretch this out, make sure that I don't use too much of it. That's a nice arch. I'm gonna add in more polish though, because if I do too much of it, guess what? It'll bubble up or it won't cure. Um, there are a lot of you guys that bought art gel before that didn't cure at all. That's just a factor defect, guys. It's not like something that the company actually tried to do. So that's why I kind of stayed away from it for a little bit because I wanted to see what happens. Because any new product, you know, is going to have some issues. I'm going to put my nudes and browns back. Black and white. This comes black, white, red, blue, burgundy, red, light. And these two are added nudes. You won't see these in other sets. In the future, I'll probably do a nude only set, different shades of nudes, baby pink, pink. Just to see what the pink looks like. Very vibrant, hot pink, as you can see. And there's also a pink here. So there's a hot pink, a baby pink. Um, there's an orange. So all your neons are taken care of. Light, light orange, neon orange and light orange. Wow, I guess I picked the right combination. Neon orange, ooh. Light orange. Oh, almost like a sunflower. So, so it's actually pretty nice. There's actually a gray here too. So I'm gonna use turquoise last. The darkest of, of all three. So like, you know, sometimes you guys see those designs with like different shades. Guess what? They have them all here for you. You don't have to get like three different blues, you know, from your, your polish and pour out on a, a palette. It's already here. I don't know who the first 20 gonna use that promo code is, but yes. Yeah, the codes, there's only 20 codes. Once 20 people have used it, it's done. It doesn't work anymore, so unfortunately. Um, wow, look at that, it's like a perfect shade. Perfect transition, I like that. Um, the updated version, they're skinnier, longer, and yeah, they're, upda they're updated for sure. So I have enough space, so I'm gonna do one more. I'll do this blue. This is the dark blue. This is almost like the darkest of the dark. It's almost like a navy. Ooh.
This is a cool design. I might do this on a client. Low key. 50 shades of gray? Nah. 50 shades of blue. Yes. Yep, these are on the website, Marsha. First 20 that puts in the promo code 20 off. You'll get 20% off the first 20. 20 off is the first, is the code. Absolutely fabulous. There's the purples here. So, there's light purple, purple and light purple. Lavender, hello. There's a peach, peach, who doesn't love peach? Peach goes with nude. Oh, this peach, guys, I don't think you guys can see it. Hold on, let me turn this light on. Oh, this peach, this peach I think this man would look actually very good. Actually, I might use this to put some stones on it. Maybe I put those blue stones on it. Make a design out of it. Might as well, huh? Mm, where's my net? There it is. Man, first. I mean, these are reasonably priced. When they first launched, they were really expensive. The new bundle set is seven. You buy all six, you get, six, you get seven. So this, it comes in seven brushes. You buy six, you get seven. That's the bundle. You get one free. The only thing that's on sale was this and the rhinestones. Real quick before we stop. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna pay homage to my gel art paint and I'll show you guys what the 25 millimeter can do. Those of you guys that like, have issues drawing lines. This is gel art paint, okay? This is the precision of gel art paint. This is smooth, the surface is smooth. This is a 25 millimeter, it's pretty much, look at that. Okay, you wanna draw lines? Let's go. It's a straight line for you, baby. Guess what? It ain't moving. One pigment, one touch. The longer the brush, it gives you the ability to kind of use it as a guideline. This is my black, this is my like go-to black. If anybody likes doing line work, this is it. I'll put a line right next to it. Those two lines aren't gonna come together. If this was gel polish, it would merge already. This is why when you do certain things, um, when you, you think, oh, why are my lines so chunky? It's not because of you, possibly the product. And I, if I want it to be thicker, I just gotta put more pressure down. You know, I want more pigment, I just gotta run it through. I'm not getting, I'm not getting more of it. I'm not getting more of it. But. See that? This is an art brush. But you buy an Amazon, see, look, look, see that thinness? When you buy an Amazon, they're not art brushes. Those Beatles brushes, they're, they're very thick. So the more you lay on there, guess what? Your line's gonna be super chunky. We don't do that. We gotta have the quality products and take care of it. Look how thin it is against that white. Sold. Guess the difference?
this this brush. I'm gonna use it one more time. This product, I, this, this formula, this black right here, is my own formula. I actually went back and forth with them. Now it's same market. I didn't even wet my brush again. Well, let's go one more time. What, you want one more? Crisp lines. Technically, I should be using my 10 millimeter for this. Oh, I want to fill that in. Okay. Where's my detail too? Grab my detail too. Get a little polish. Look at this, guys. Work smarter, not harder. If I was using a, a square brush, oops, sorry, you guys didn't even see that. If I was using a square brush, I'd probably be messing up those little corners. Look, oh my god, this brush. Flat, you guys are drawing blocks. If we use this brush and try to fill it in, guess what? It's, the tip will just keep eating into this. So, yes, this brush has a nice edge for you already. You just go right in between and paint it in like a boss. And you got that nice block. The code is 20 off. T uh, 20 OFF. First 20. Well, oh, they have glitter on that. Never mind. I like the longer version of these brushes now because I like to be able to hold it. Look how, look how long it is. I'm going to zoom out for you guys a little bit. Look how long it is. You guys be able to hold it just like a, like a pencil art brush. A lot of, a lot of control, a lot of stability. This we'll use the detail. We we'll use the ten. It's smaller, so it's smaller lines. I really don't need to use a long brush for it. So ten millimeters should work. Right there. Ten millimeter. You have a little bit more control for these smaller lines. Yes, a lot of you guys are thinking, oh, why can't I zoom in? Thinking I can't do line work. Uh -huh. A lot of my students just realize sometimes the tools, guys, and the product. You're gonna have the product, you're gonna have the Practice drawing lines. This is literally how I practice line work when I first started. I just drew lines all day. Mm -hmm. Used to it. So there you go. And this thing dries pretty fairly easy. That's I wanted to pay homage to this product because this is my my very own concoction that I created myself. A lot different from a lot of products and this actually can adhere chrome or up chrome on top of this black if i had gold chrome right now i'd show you let's move on to the rhinestones who wants to go on the rhinestones let's do the rhinestones Ooh. oh my lord that's beautiful let's move on to the rhinestones it's gonna clean my brush a little bit just clean it leave the gel on Put it away in my the safety of my the top of it. Oh, it's in here. I have this in white, gold, silver, rose gold too, but I'm not gonna bust that out today, maybe in another day. A lot of you guys buy brushes, you invest money into it, and guess what? It has no top to it. And they expect you to just store it. And guess what? The brush for brushing on something, it gets all dirty, it's, it's annoying. I don't know why. 
they expect you to do that, but... Ooh, almost spilled mine. Wow. Let's take out the... This is also the 20% off. So first first 20 people to buy the first 20 boxes. These are limited in each color. I have some more colors coming in in the future, though. I have four more colors. I got some silver and stuff like that. Okay. We got our gem on glue. We got our... Let's just use this one, the one they gave us. I have... This, you have to come with a custom one here, too. This is actually replaceable. Look, 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 look. Nah, you guys, don't be throwing them away. I have these refills for you. I'm not expecting you guys to use all this and throw this away. Look how nice this thing is. It's metal. It's heavy. It's... I'm going to be selling these for you guys. You guys just... Look at that. Guys. Guys. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody home? And you have the nice picker at the end. I like this one. I don't really like this. I don't know what this is. I like a nice sharp. So you know what? I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna use the one they give you. You wanna use the one they give you? Fine, that's, that's good too. Um, the Nail Dad Shop is what? Instagram has the same thing as a friend. Use NailDadShop.com. I'm sorry if you have any issues. I'm sorry. So, this is the trio combo, guys. This is, you, this is a need for those of you guys that like using gem. One to apply the gem, one to seal in corners and edges, okay? So we got some gems here. I am going to take out my oval, 3D oval. I'm just gonna apply some gems. And if you use this, you better clean it, okay? Don't, don't get this cured. I'm just gonna put some in here. This is a very sticky. use that big gem the custom one that I put in here for you guys a lot of times you guys will see small ones but this is this reminds me of what you know what look at this this doesn't even work as well as mine but it comes with a pack so look at that see the difference let me show you guys right now this is the difference between quality everybody Big stone, guys. You gotta remember, it's a big stone. So we're gonna have, we're gonna, we're gonna put some assisting stones next to it. This gem glue right here is very sticky, so but it won't keep, don't cure until you're ready, okay? I'm gonna take the round ones. It comes with the round ones. guys use this end to move the stones don't once you put it on use the metal metal point to move the stones because this is very waxy so what's gonna happen is it's gonna make it all dirty you don't want that so you can use this to move it around this is the metal point okay wish I had those little bullion beads but I don't so I'm gonna deal with it for now okay I'll add more of my gem sealer as I go so I know what I'm doing you don't want to add all over the place because you don't never know what, what design you're doing. I'm just going to do a simple one because I don't have the bullion beads to make the, the one I want. I got in here, you got in here. Okay, now a lot of times 
we're done, and you guys leave it like this. Guess what happens? This stone is elevated. You see the little gaps and stuff like that? Sometimes the, the nail is not, where you're putting the stone is not smooth curvature. So, hello, our friend, concealer. We're gonna go in. I wanna squeeze the prod into the gaps. And what this does is it squeeze out. Load, see that? Load, drop a gel. Look at that. Surgical. Surgical. And then we'll seal in all those little gaps. All these little gaps. Let's see the gap between the stone right here? We gotta put something in there, because guess what? Hair will get stuck in there. You squeeze it and it fills it in like cement. Lightly squeeze it, don't use too much. And you go in and you cure it again. So that, what this tool does for a lot of people that don't understand is it fills in those little gaps that you can't, you know, take a, take, you can't take a, a top coat brush and brush over it. Because what it does, it, it, it overflows on the stone and then ruins what the stone looks like. So this way we have to fill in little gaps around the cuticle area where stones are a little bit elevated. And then once it dries, it just sits in there like a cement. This is, a, this is the pin sealer, gem sealer, okay? Very useful tool. You cannot be doing gems and not using one of these. It's very, very important. And also it doubles as a brush. In case you have to brush them on or something. Um, it's gel in there. It's non cleanse gel. And you would cure it. And it would cure and secure the stone on for you. There you go. And if you want to do this, oh, hold on, look how good this looks matted. But let's say if I wanted this shiny. Use the top coat. I will not go over the stone. I'll just go around it. See that? I don't have to go all over the stone because guess what? All right, there's a pin sealer in there. I just go around it. And try not to use too much of the pin sealer. Try using a lot of the gem sealer, the gem glue on the bottom first, and whatever is left over, you, you take it. I'm getting a message from the team right now that the 20% code is almost out for both the stones and the art gel. So you're in here, you want the 20% off, it's only 20 codes. It's just putting 20 off when you check out, and you'll be able to secure your 20% off, and only 20 can be used. And if you have a little bit of wax on your stones, a little bit of alcohol will clean it off. Um, this is still usable. I think I feel like you gotta rough this up a little bit, get it to be using, but it's free, so can't complain. But at the end of the day, you guys just saw the quality the difference between mine and that one. And this one just looks nice. I mean, this one is something you buy and you're like, come on, it's so. I, I love pink. You're like, I know a lot of you guys like pink and stuff, but let's be honest. At the end of the day, like, I love the executive look. Black and gold, very sturdy, not plastic, you know, metal casing. It's just, it's my brand. It's my brand, y'all. This, if I were to use this on gel polish, I'll clean this, but I'm not gonna clean it now, because unless it's secured, that's fine. Keeps the brush together, why not? These are definitely must have. This comes in emerald blue, red, emerald green, uh, sapphire blue, red, emerald green, and also a champagne. I have more colors soon. So this is definitely a must have if you, you get it. Get that wax starter tool, all three. Actually, if you buy the bundle, you get this for, for one of these for free, so buy the brushes. And I'm gonna go back through again with the brushes, and I'll, ask, and I'll answer some questions in a little bit, okay? Um, this is detail two, the filling in. Ombre flat for gel marbling and filling in also. I have two of them here for reason. Detail one for a short brush detail. And the long 1525, you see me doing those lines earlier. And as always, put some of this away. Show these in. This actually looks so pretty. The champagne rose gold. Rose champagne. I don't need to put a flash eye in these. You guys see that silver back? That means that it's quality. 
this, come on, you guys have seen this. And every one of these will come with a big stone, a centipede stone. This is extra. I have to tell them to, to put this in. They don't give you these big stones. They give the small ones when they, they sell to you. So the big stones for centipedes. I don't want to be. I don't want to be like everybody else. At least you know that. Oh, I've seen that before. Someone else has sold it. At least you, for with me, you'll be able to get that big centipede stone. So actually, it's pretty not not bad for just winging it up. There you go. Comes with six sizes of the stones. I think this is SS18. I think this is SS16. Uh, I don't know, SS16, 12, 8, uh, 6, 3, and 3 and 5. So it comes with three, three of the small to match. So good luck everybody. Like I said, these stones are limited. So are these. First 20 will be 20% off. Whoever got lucky and ordered it during that time. But yeah, let me look through it. And also, oh! It's November, y'all. If you guys don't get, if you guys don't have the stickers, yeah, you can get stickers anywhere. But these, I just picked specifically from ones I would use. They're fall stickers, okay? There's like a lot of different ones on our website, okay? Fall stickers. Nice leaves you can put onto your design. They're just generic, couple bucks for each, whatever. Not knock the packaging, okay? My packaging is A1. If you're gonna pay for it, you might as well. Instructions right here for you. Packaging is A1. It's not no. I don't go cheap with my packaging, unfortunately. Everything is the way it is for a reason. All my gel pots are acrylic glass, not plastic. Okay, y'all. Acrylic glass and blacked out in case you get it in front of your machine and cure. It's not plastic. It won't overflow, it won't explode on you because it's a clear glass, it's tempered. You guys have you guys have heard about other brands where it exploded and blew up on you? It's because it's not tempered. So that it comes with heat and cold and it rises. Once again, the gel art sets. We have black, white, red, blue, burgundy, light blue, light nude, dark nude, uh, medium nude, um, baby pink, uh, rose red, kind of a pinky red, yellow, green, neon green, which is lime green. Light orange, neon orange, orange, pink, gray, um, a macaron, which is almost like a. Uh, let's see, this is like a tealish, teal. Tiffany blue, turquoise, purple, light purple, purple macaron, peach, and brown. 24 set at your fingertips. And it's latched in with a magnetic. Yes, it's not just a box that you pour out and then you have to put it back in. It's actually magnetic. It has foam in there. These are not plastic. These are all 